Okay. I don't know the last names of the Johns. I don't know. Oh, we can go through. Okay. okay. We're gonna start. We'll, yeah. just, we'll okay. just say who we are. Hello, my name is John Schneck. What do you play, John? I play guitar. That's banjo. Oh. Bells. Mandolin. I'm Dave. I play drums. I'm Matt. I play guitar and I sing. I'm Matt Hoops and I play guitar and sing. And I'm John Warren and I play the bass. And what was your vision when you guys first started? Uh, I don't know. We just wanted to play shows, you know? Like, uh... We were 16 years old and just learned how to play guitars and just wrote like our first couple of songs and you know we just wanted to go out there and have fun and get to open for bands that we really liked and, and stuff like that. Alright. Do you think your vision has changed since you've become so successful or? No. <laughs> I mean it's, uh, I feel like, um, I don't know, like our whole, like we, we've never been a band that's been all about goals, you know, but uh, and one of our main goals is just to you know, pr prolong what we're doing and try and see how long we can do this for, because it's fun. Yeah. And what about uh, going so mainstream? I know that's probably you guys have been asked that about a lot. And but, you know, oh, like yeah, we we uh, we're the same band. We always were. Um, we wrote our last record for Goatee Records, and then uh, after it was finished, uh, uh, Capitol Records heard it and they said that they wanted to also put it out. Um, so we actually never even signed anything or any of that. And so it's funny how everybody thinks there's like this big change or something like that. But really, it's the only thing is that uh, Capital is, is a bigger label than Goatee. And so Capital was doing all the things that Goatee was trying to do but couldn't really do because they were a smaller label and Capital just pulls them off. So. Okay. But do you think your message is being perceived the same way, like the different Christianity and your faith and everything through that? And well, all, all our songs have always just been about us and, like, uh, you know, what we're going through in, in our lives. And so, you know, people can interpret that however they want. Um, so, basically, I guess if it's being interpreted differently, it's not up to us. All right. And I know you guys were on Warp Tour and that kind of stuff. Do you, did you notice a difference between the crowds from, like, the Christian festivals to the different, the secular vision of the Warp Tour? Um... No, I mean, the only difference is that, uh, you know, kids at Warped Tour usually uh, tend to, I don't know, uh, there's more circle pits and stuff like that, but, um, you know, you'll see more kids, um, I don't know, just doing doing crazy stuff, a lot, of, a lot more crowd surfing, but um, it's very similar. All right. And do you guys have a most uh, memorable show from the past years, or? Probably. It's probably memorable because it was bad, but um, oh, so yeah, we yeah. should probably do a good one. Yeah. What would a good one be? Good one was the the first day. We, John and I were just talking about this. It was the next show we played after this festival last year. Last year John Sh or John Warren played bass with us for the first time. That was a good day. Was that September 11th? Uh -huh. Was it? It was like the second or something. Oh, I don't know. out in Kansas City. I remember that day. It was good. It was a good day, though. That's nice, guys. Good times. <laughs> All right. Did you guys have any like? <laughs> you guys have any like future plans for doing other things like movies or any other things like the media or? Um, we're just doing we're doing another video next week uh, for who I am. Hate to have been. Uh, playing on Jimmy Kimmel next week. That's about it. You know, not not too much crazy stuff going on. So. All right. Um, do you think your faith has influenced your music? And I mean, how is that? Oh yeah, I mean, um, a lot of our lyrics are based, you know, mm -hmm. around our faith in God, and you know, just uh, as I said before, different experiences that we have as people. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of it's just, you know, we're trying to write about learning experiences, you know, failing and and uh, getting back up again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, as you're maturing, do you think your music, like your lyrics, I know from like gibberish and like yeah. the horse be with you and to like who I am hates who I've been and I so hate consequences. Do you think like your lyrics are like maturing as? I yeah, mean, as, as a result of us getting older. Yeah, it's probably the case. I mean, um, you know, it's like we started off when, when you know, obviously we're 16 years old and, and some of our main influences are were really funny bands and stuff. And so we'd always just try and emulate that. And uh, 
then of course you know even on the first record we had some serious songs and so like we tended just to over the next couple of records we'd still keep that element in there and just you know the second record was still a lot of goofy stuff third record had some goofy stuff but um this it last record yeah it, it, it has a little bit but um but yeah honestly it's just because we've just felt like the the more serious songs have more substance um that we can latch onto those more and that uh Honestly, like the feedback that we get from those is it means so much more to us than like, you know, somebody telling us that they like the, you know, the Sadie Hawkins song. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And the last one just be, would you have any like advice for upcoming artists, how they can like adv uh, advance in their career? Um, I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, you know, I've got some friends who are at record labels, you know, sign bands and stuff and they're just... You're always looking for somebody who's, you know, well rehearsed. They they can sing, they can play their instruments, and um, I think a, a big part of it is just writing something new. Uh, just you know, obviously you can't be cookie cutter of something else. And uh, I feel like as long as those things are in place, um, you know, and the lyrics are good and stuff like that, then uh, then you're you're good to go. So um, recording a good demo is probably the first step. Just making sure like, you know, the vocals are on pitch and you know everything sounds all right, because. Uh, record labels get a lot of bad demos and so if you're you know if yours is going to be oh you know it doesn't matter if it's bad quality or not yeah it does because that obviously it's not going to stick out and it's just going to go in the coaster pile okay and then so the plug for the rnr tv to say like we're relying k camera Hey, what's up? This is the boys in Reliant K, and you're watching R&R &R TV, where rock and roll was meant to go.